Hi there everyone and welcome back to BRM Driving School. Hope you're doing all right, seeing as the uh, second lockdown is over, lessons are back on, and uh, got a little bit of time here to make a video on what I think is probably the most difficult roundabout on any of the driving tests in Oxford. Um, and seeing as the test center is gonna be temporarily moving for a month to the Kassam Stadium, I think this roundabout's gonna be appearing more often, so we're gonna go through it, and that is the Little Wall roundabouts. Um, for those that have done it before, they know how difficult it is. Uh, some of the roundabout is marked, some of it's not marked, and then what is marked isn't very clearly marked, and unlike the other roundabouts in Oxford, this one is not a spiral roundabout. The lanes do not guide you to the exit. So you've got to decide when you're gonna move across. So if you like what you see in this video, hit the like, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a comment. And more importantly, if you know anyone that's got a driving test coming up soon, share this video with them. This is gonna be a massive help to them doing their driving test. So, I'm uh, going to get going on in a moment. I'm just parked on Sandy Lane West, so I've uh, got my usual camera. I've got the one pointing towards me, I've got the one pointing out the front, and we've now also got an extra camera which I've got attached to my uh, window here on the side, which will act as a bit of a left mirror for this video. So, if I mention the left mirror, I'll try and get that camera on there to show you, you know, what are we gonna be looking out for on our left-hand side on this roundabout. I do have a fourth camera at home, I just can't find it anywhere, and we could attach it to this window here, but I'll worry about that later. Okay, let's get, let's get in on it, so let's get the car ready to drive away. I do apologize if there is any sound issues because of that window being open, but this is, I'm just trying this out for the first time. Should be all right on the quieter roads, but maybe on the louder roads it might be a little bit of a, you know, faster, louder roads might be a bit of an issue. Okay, so this bit here is from the um, Blackbird Lee's uh, test route video that I put put on a while ago. Uh, I'll leave a card in the top corner, so if you want to watch that video, you can. So anyone that knows or already watched that video knows about this bit here. It's not a slip road, it's a giveaway junction. So I'm looking out for traffic from behind, which there is. Just waiting for the gap, so this vehicle moves over to the right. So I'm doing now, here's my time. Okay, so the first one that I'm gonna be doing is the Ring Road A4142, turning right third exit, then turning right after that onto Newman Road. So I check my mirrors, I've got a single right because we've got the signs for the roundabout so I need to be moving across. I've got the 30 sign up ahead and I need to get into that extra lane that's on the right. You cannot use the middle lane on this roundabout to turn right. Anyone who's local does knows that that lane does go around to the right but when it comes to the driving test you cannot use it because they say this lane here is the only one that's marked for Ifly. So third exit right, then turning right when we come off. So as we go around this roundabout, we need to move across one lane after the second exit. Only do it if it's safe. If it's not safe, go around the roundabout again. So going round, keep an eye on these lights, keep an eye on the lane as you go around. So ideally I need to try and get towards the middle lane when it's safe. So I'm checking my left hand mirror. I can see this van behind me. So this is exactly what you've got to be watching out for, is what is that vehicle doing? I can see it's going right the way to the left, and I'm going to come off in the right-hand lane here to turn right onto Newman Road. So you can see how complicated that is straight away. So this is the first example that I'm showing you. This roundabout is not easy. A lot of people do mess that up when they're turning right. Okay, so the second way we're going to be doing this is uh, I'm on the Easter Bypass, uh, the A4142. I'm going to be turning right third exit at the roundabout, 
but continuing straight towards Rose Hill and Ifley. So on this one, uh, you have to move across two lanes to get to the exit. So your use of mirrors on this one will be pretty important. So there's the road up ahead that we came out of uh, at the beginning of the video. So uh, do look out for traffic coming from the side and check my mirrors. See where that black car's going, it's going down there, it's safe to move across. Checking my mirror again, still safe to go across the second lane to the exit. And then if it's safe, just make your progress and carry on listening to the instructions either from the examiner or the sat down. Okay, so next way that we're going to be doing it is uh, on the eastern bypass. We're going to be continuing straight ahead, second exit, which will keep us going on the ring road. So, we've got our little road on the left that was mentioned earlier, so just checking my mirrors. I know there's nothing in lane two if it's needed. Now from this side here, if you're going straight ahead, second exit, you can use the left or the middle lane. If you are using the left lane, which I am going to be doing here, the bit you have to be careful of is where you first enter the roundabout, there are no markings. It is so easy to be drawn into that middle lane if you come in too quickly. So I can see the light up ahead is red. I'll leave a small gap to the vehicle in front of me so when these lights go green, I'll point out a bit more easily to you. So. If the light is green as you're approaching, when you're doing this roundabout from this side here, going straight ahead, second exit, towards where the 50 signs are on the other side, you probably want to be somewhere just under 20, I would say, 20 miles an hour. So I'll leave the gap to the vehicle in front. So you can see here, as we enter the roundabout, there's no lane markings at the beginning. It's so easy to get drawn into that middle lane. So you've got to keep all the way to the left here. So check your mirrors off first exit, give the signal to say that you're leaving, and then carry on with your journey. Okay. Right, so the next time I'm going to be doing it is, uh, I'm on the A4142, going to be continuing straight ahead, second exit, ring road towards London. So on this side here, it is middle and right only. So left lane is left turn only. So I can see light up head is green, so I'm just going to check my mirrors here. Realistically, I might go red before I get there. Just keep an eye on these vehicles here, just in case they cross over. Now, and then, as before, first part of the roundabout has no lane markings. So, as you can see, I'm getting a bit squeezed by some of these vehicles. So, just follow the different shade of tarmac. That is almost like your lane marking. So, Check mirrors, giving the signal, just got to keep an eye because so many times you know people will come across from that right lane into the left hand lane. So you know, just gotta be careful on that side of the roundabout in particular. If you do end up in that left hand lane when you're asked to go straight ahead, just turn left. You cannot be given a serious fall for going the wrong way on the test, providing you've done it safely and correctly. Okay, so coming off Hayford Hill roundabout, going towards um, the Little Moor roundabout. Now sometimes because of traffic, not able to get into the left-hand lane. 
uh, well on this occasion go over to the left hand lane but we're going to go straight ahead second exit continuing on the ring road towards London but I will do it in the right hand lane on this on this occasion so and we'll move across into the right hand lane whilst we've got some ch got, got some opportunity to get over there so straight ahead second exit from the right hand lane usually easier in the middle but let's just say you weren't able to get across because of traffic so make sure you stick to the right hand lane because some people do cross over into the middle and now this is the bit you've got to be careful of is the traffic lights on the other side because if they're red it tends to back up the traffic into the roundabout so you may have to stop but I'm checking my left hand mirror I can see there's a white car on the inside so I'm definitely leaving in the right hand lane I'm not even going to think about moving across into the left hand Build up the speed towards the 50 limit, and I would wait for the safe opportunity to move across, which I can't really do at this moment because of the white car. But we just skip along to the next bit. Okay, now this time round, we're going to be doing the roundabout. I'm on the eastern bypass A4142, going to be turning right onto Oxford Road towards Littlemore. I can see this one being used a bit more often when the test centre temporarily moves to the Salmon March. So be to so the right hand lane, um, far right hand lane, checking mirrors, right signal on for the benefit of the car behind. It will go slightly to the right where it becomes three lanes. Now the tricky bit is going to be the traffic lights that are on the other side because I've got to go from the far right hand lane to the far left hand lane and I don't have a lot of space in which to do it. So you've got to be so, so careful. Make sure you're looking at your mirrors. Make sure you're looking at the vehicles in front of you if there's a queue because you don't want to spend so long looking in your mirrors you're going to rear end someone that's waiting. It will all look a bit silly if that happens. So, so I'd like to go on green, just keeping the gap. No lane markings on this bit here, so just stay on the shaded tarmac. So I'm looking around, I can see lights green, but I'm not going to guarantee it's still going to be green. So I'm looking in my mirrors, and it's safe to move across. So you can see barely a car length there to try and get across two lanes to safely get to my exit. So, you know, I I can see that one being used a lot more often when the Kassam is temporarily, temporarily used as the test centre. So do be careful if you do get that on a driving test, whether we're still, you know, whether you're still at Cowley or when it temporarily goes to uh, to the Kassam Stadium. Okay, so now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, coming from uh, Rose Hill. Going to go straight ahead. Second exit, it's uh, Oxford Road towards Littlemore. So, looking at the sign up ahead that's in the distance, it'll be going where that symbol is saying that there is a waiting, uh, a waiting restriction? A wait restriction. It will say on the second sign it's towards Littlemore. Okay, so from this side here, it's middle lane only. Sometimes when it rains, it looks like there's a straight ahead arrow in the left hand lane. But trust me, it is middle lane only. The traffic light doesn't apply here, but you must give way to traffic from your right. So I'm slowing down. There's a gap after this van. Now I'm going to check my left hand mirror because I need to get into that left hand lane to take the exit. Do be careful because sometimes where it used to, because left lane did used to be a straight ahead lane. Um, do watch out for vehicles that are going straight ahead from the left hand lane. That is why it's important to check your mirrors. You know, that's why I was checking my mirrors um, when I came off earlier and mentioning that white car. I'm checking my right mirror here. I can see there's a white car behind me on my right. It's not on camera at the moment. It's got its left signal on. So that's something to watch out for on the exit. Is, is there a vehicle behind you in the middle lane that might try and quickly overtake you to get off the roundabout and then as we go through here we've got the sign saying give way to oncoming vehicles I've had a look there's no oncoming vehicles it's, 
it was safe to go through there as it is safe to continue now that that van has gone through. Right. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going third exit right, ring road towards Swindon and Newbury or if you're using the second sign it'd be towards Abingdon, Henley, uh, Wallingford etc. So third exit to the right. So on this side here you can use the middle or the right hand lane, normally easier in the middle but some people do go with the right. So. Checking my mirrors. Right signal on. Be behind where that ambulance is and where this learner car is going. So as before, give way to traffic coming from your right. Have a look at the traffic lights up ahead. So there are vehicles coming from my right hand side, so I will be giving way. So, and the bit you have to be careful of on this side because of the traffic from the right, because it's a dual carriageway, they could be coming in this roundabout a lot quicker than what you realise. So we're going to aim for the middle lane at the lights that are just changing to red. So, you know, want to pull forward quickly but not too quickly. So we clear this area but we're slow enough that we not going to slam on the brakes at the traffic lights. Having a look up ahead, there's only one vehicle there so I can safely pull in behind it without blocking the exit to the dual carriageway. So keeping the right signal on. So we're going to keep following it around, just stay in this lane here. So checking the mirrors. Left signal on after this exit, because that vehicle there, wrong lane. Trying to turn right from the left hand lane. I couldn't couldn't really move to the right, so I was sort of in a bit of a pickle there. So we, we can just see, you know, people do not know how to use this roundabout. It's, you know, and it's, but it's also showing why it's important to check our mirrors and react appropriately to what's happening around us. Because, you know, I had a car on my right that was taking the exit, I'm taking the exit, and then I've got a car on the left. You know, there's three cars trying to take an exit with two lanes. It's not going to be safe if, if you're trying to do it from the wrong lane. If, if you were that white vehicle there and you were doing your driving test, if you were in that white car, what you should have done, just taken that exit towards uh, Oxford Road down there. It would have been a lot safer. And you don't fail your test for it if you, if you were that white car. Uh, as I said, that's, that's why it is so important to be checking the mirrors. We've seen it numerous times in this video. Checking that left mirror is is critical when exiting round, exiting roundabouts. Okay, so what we're going to do on this this one is uh, going to go third exit right as we did before, but we're going to be using the right hand lane on this one instead of the middle. So ring road towards the Midlands, Swindon, Newbury, Abingdon, Sanford, Reading, etc. It's all on these two sides here. So we'll be using the far right lane on this occasion. So mirror check, right signal, can't get into that right hand lane. So I just have to wait. And even if these vehicles weren't here, I wouldn't be able to squeeze past that truck. So, you know, sometimes you've just got to hold back and just say, just got to wait. Okay, so looking out for traffic from the right. I've noted the traffic lights up ahead are red. This Jeep's gone. I am not going to queue behind it, otherwise I'm going to be blocking the exit of the roundabout. So just wait until that light goes green, wait until there's a gap on the right, which there is after the Royal Mail van. So pull away quickly, staying in the right hand lane, light's still green, staying on the inside, check my left hand mirror, there is nobody there but I will exit on the right hand lane on this occasion. And then when it's safe, Something I've mentioned a few times on this video is when we're entering these bits of the roundabout where it's not traffic light control but the next bit is, it's really important, don't block the roundabout. If there's a queue of traffic up in front of you and you can't get onto that roundabout without blocking the roundabout, just stay back. It's 
it's showing the examiner good awareness, good planning. You noticed if I went there, there's a potential problem. I'm not going to cause that problem. So, okay, now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing Oxford Road. Going to go straight ahead, second exit towards Rose Hill. So as we're approaching the roundabout here, there will be two lanes and we need to be in the left-hand lane. So do make sure you are giving way to vehicles from the right because you will see the traffic lights in front of you, but they don't apply. They don't apply to here. So lots of traffic coming from the right. Now I've got to make sure it's clear on where the lights are as well because you don't want to be going forward backing up traffic in, you know it's coming from your right so make sure you have enough space to clear this bit of the roundabout so still looking to the right I think that's Steve coming round so you'll hide to Steve Stratford yeah giving a good wave there <laughs> we've got the gap on the right so Round the outside into the left hand lane, wait at the red light. Because I know some people can be quite eager, they might just keep on going straight through the red light, and that's a serious fault. For those who haven't seen it, I've got a video on traffic lights, I'll leave a card in the top corner. So, do you make sure you're checking your mirrors because when you've done this roundabout first time round, you know, sometimes people are trying to move across. I'm looking behind, I can see there's green bus sufficiently I think, in front of it. But who knows, that bus might have kept on going to try and keep going in front. Okay. Right, now this is going to be the uh, final example I'm going to show in this video because my cameras are almost out of battery. I won't have time to do this uh, in... Uh, both the ways you can do it, but I'll, I'll do the one that's going to be most common or the one that most people will do on their driving test. And that is, I'm going to be turning right from Oxford Road onto the Eastern Bypass, the A4142. So, third exit right. So, going towards the roundabout. So, as before, this entrance here is give way to the right, so mirror check, right signal on, looking out for traffic from the right. Now on this occasion, there isn't actually any traffic, so I'm going to keep on going. Now the one that most people go for is this far right hand lane, keep an eye on the traffic lights because we see that van's just gone a little bit over the line there. If that's a driving test, that's a serious fault. Because uh, red light means you do have to stop and wait behind the white line. So stick close to the inside of the roundabout. I'm going to leave in the right hand lane because very often there is a vehicle on your left. So checking mirrors. In fact, I can't leave in the right hand lane, but I've checked my mirrors, I've seen it safe, so I could actually move across. So, uh, but if there was a vehicle on my left there, I might have had to have stopped. So, you know, it's this, as, as I've mentioned quite a few times, mirror checks, so important. I think it's, uh, yeah, it's number two, number two in the top ten reasons why people fail their driving test is not checking their mirrors before changing direction. That's a great example of it there. I had to check my mirrors. Was it safe for me to change my direction? Because normally there is a car there on your left. Normally you would not be able to do what I did there, but I, I checked my mirrors. I saw it was safe. I was actually able to do it on that occasion, but maybe on other occasions. might not be able to do that. But it's also going back to something that I, I've, I've said, you know, about not blocking the roundabout if you're coming in from the sides. I think maybe that vehicle might have been turning right from the uh, ring road, so I will give them the benefit of the doubt. But you can see what a potential issue of blocking the roundabout could be. So, so do you, you know, do be aware of that awareness and planning. It, it's what the examiner will be looking for on your driving test. They are looking for a driver. Because if you go into your driving test and you drive like a learner, you will still be a learner at the end of the test. Go into the test with the mentality that I'm a driver, you will definitely be a driver at the end of the test. So, you know, positive thinking, planning ahead, you know, 
use all your driving skills on your driving test be aware of what's happening around you you know what could be happening anticipation that's that's a big thing you know, and all going well you should pass your driving test and you know you'll be on your way to that new freedom so I hope you've enjoyed the video that I've uh, made here if you like what you saw hit the like button hit subscribe hit that notification bell as I said in the beginning if you know someone's got a test coming up soon share this video with them it will be a massive massive help to them because I know you all want to pass and preferably we all want to pass first time you know help your friends help your family you know or if you're part of these um, learning to drive groups share it on there be a big help to everyone on there so as I said, you know, hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment. Did you uh, get this roundabout on your driving test? How did it go for you? You know, share your experience so if anyone reads the comments, um, they know what to do or what not to do. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. So uh, yeah, I'll be signing off on this video. Um, just keep an eye out and uh, drive safe.